I'm a kind of practical person, but to me, the most magical thing in this world is the law of quantum mechanics. Mostly when you see something that looks like it's too good to be true in the world, it is. But the laws of quantum mechanics will blow your mind, and as far as we know, they're true. So many things we use in everyday life, or that could improve the world, depend on an understanding of quantum mechanics. Things such as new medicines, catalysts to convert chemicals, photovoltaic cells, all of these things could be improved with a better understanding of quantum physics. So if you want to understand how an atom works, or at the most fundamental level how light works, you need the theory of quantum mechanics. My uh, system of interest um, is ultra-cold atomic gases. And most of us think of gas as being a very boring state of matter. But actually for a physicist, a gas is really exciting. The particles in this gas are moving around extremely fast, bouncing off each other. They fill up the container they're in. And if there's any breach in that container, the gas will leak out. So a gas is actually a really wild state of matter that gets physicists quite excited. A quantum gas is something where we cool a gas down to really low temperatures. So these are some of the lowest temperatures in the universe. And the way we get down there is using tools such as laser cooling. So that's shining uh, lasers, the particular sort of lasers onto an atom that can remove their kinetic energy and slow them down. So when, when these gases get very cold, the particles are moving very slowly and the laws of quantum mechanics say you can't really think about them as particles anymore. They have an identity crisis and they spread out as sort of like waves overlapping with each other. From the point of view of a theorist, these cold gases are a wonderful playground. You can look and see them, okay, under a microscope, but you can actually look and see them and directly play with these very simple quantum mechanical systems. The last decade, I've been focused on uh, understanding these systems when, for the case of where the atoms have magnetic moments. So basically the atoms are like these bar magnets. You know, if each atom is like a little bar magnet, when they come next to each other, they push, and you can't get them closer together. But if they go head to tail, they snap together, so they attract. In the finest tradition of science, a surprise happened about three years ago, when an experiment was working on the system and checked out a regime we thought was highly uninteresting, in fact, uh, a disastrous regime for experiments. They took their gas to a place where this head to tail attraction between the atoms would occur and what everyone expected was the atoms would combine into molecules, the gas would collapse and would disappear. But in fact when they did the experiment what they found was that the gas made small patterns which were very stable. This surprising observation that a gas, the wildest phase of matter, uh, can stabilize itself with patterns in it caused a bit of a headache for theorists like myself. So for a while we're scratching heads. Our theories don't predict this, yet they see it in experiments. After thinking about it for a long time, the community realized that a very subtle quantum effect we normally throw away was playing a role here. Very simply, there's some ripples on this gas, some small quantum ripples that normally carry a small amount of energy, but as the gas tried to collapse, in fact, this became more important and stopped it. One of my colleagues, Danny, also from Invercargill, came up with this idea that maybe we could use this feature to cause the gas to package itself into a little parcel. So in fact, the gas would not need a container to hold it, and it would just actually maintain itself in a small droplet. Now we're very familiar with droplets in the case of liquids, but actually for a gas, the wildest phase of matter which normally tries to escape, this is extraordinarily uncharacteristic behavior. We're working together in a collaborative project, so in addition to Danny, there was another uh, physicist, Russell, from YMATI, who was working in Italy, and another collaborator who was in the United States. And so uh, we would be having Skype calls and sending emails all throughout the day. We finally made these predictions. Within about two months, the first experimental results came out. They had produced these nice droplets with all the properties we had expected. So this is really a eureka moment. And so this has now led on to us thinking, okay, if we can get a gas 
to package itself into little parcels, what else can we get it to do? And so we're coming up with all sorts of ideas now about other structures we can create in these systems. Like any other, almost any other field of science, you're always asked what's it good for in physics, so you don't. Because we have, like Bose, Einstein, Connie say, predicted in 1925, they thought it was impossible. Mm. It took 70 years to actually make it. Mm. And so our field's so used to, if something looks impossible today, it may not be next century. Some students come to university wanting to study physics because physics is the realm of everything that's possible. So the students we train are experts in simulating complex, many-body systems. And many of them go on to get very important jobs in New Zealand, working in big data, working for Treasury or Reserve Bank, because actually many things we see around us, like the economy, um, these are complex systems, and those same tools they learn in physics can be applied to understanding those important problems for society. One of the great things about the Dodd Wall Centre is that it brings together the researchers from all the way up to the top of the North Island to us down at the bottom. I think it's important that New Zealand does research where it can feature on the world stage. And for whatever reason, quantum research has emerged in New Zealand to be really strong. We're known around the world for it. We attract great people to come here. And so I think it's really important we continue to support this area of strength.